What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be looking at I Cuddle People for Money, My Strange Job. Sunny Daniel Now, I've actually heard of this before, but I never really saw a story time about it. I just heard this like maybe two, three years ago. I think it was a Hodge Twins video. These girls, they had like these this whole business where they would just go cuddle with men and then like charge them. So we're going to see what this girl talking about. I know this might seem gross and scary and maybe a little insane. To be honest, it's all three. Strap yourself in because this one still feels crazy for me to talk about. My story begins in high school. You see, I was a theater kid. A glee, loving, hallway, scream singing, annoying theater kid. I dreamt of being in the spotlight. I dreamt of seeing my face blown up on billboards. People told me I was a star. And honestly, they're not wrong. So when I graduated high school, I kept that theater kid in me and said, F college, F living anywhere but New York. I'm going to the big... So many people love New York, bro. It's like, I never really had the obsession with New York like a lot of people do, but it is what it is. I'm going to the big city, baby. But you know what's funny about the big city? It's freaking expensive. Man, look, I saw, I saw, it was a TikTok, I believe. And this girl was comparing the rents. And this place was like $2 million, man. And it was the size of maybe like a $100,000 house where she was. It was like Oklahoma versus New York. It was crazy. Can't afford an apartment expensive? Like, I ran out of money in two weeks expensive. No one told me I wouldn't be able to afford to live in anything but a cardboard box. I was starting to freak out. This wasn't the New York I was probably. Promised. I had two weeks to come up with enough to cover my rent or I was going to have to go home. So I started going to auditions like crazy. Producer after producer rejected me. Some even told me that my singing sound like a dying whale. I felt like a hey. total loser. I walked the streets of New York in the rain like I was in an R&B music video. That's when a lady came up to me and passed me a flyer. Professional cuddlers wanted. Yeah, that's what it was. It, this, this is actually real. I can confirm that this is a real job that people like actually do i rolled my eyes yeah right like i was gonna fall for that a professional cuddler anytime someone is handing you a flyer on this but no cap what i think it is though i think if you you can get into it as a professional cuddler but then if you want to decide that yo maybe i want to give a little extra for a little extra money on the side i think a lot of it ends up being like that too to be honest the street for a job that involves touching someone else you know it's not a good situation the woman told me I could make 800 bucks a day. I rolled my eyes. 800 a day? That's hoeing money for sure. But when I got home that night, I had an eviction notice on my door. I couldn't go back to my hometown. I mean, are you kidding me? I'd be the laughing stock. I'd be that girl that couldn't make it in New York and sounds like a dying whale. So I called the number on the flyer. I thought, hey, I might get murdered, but I'm kind of over it at this point. The woman on the other end explained the job to me. You literally get paid to cuddle lonely, pathetic people. That's it. <laughs> you just got to cuddle someone. I told them to sign me up and I arrived for my first job. They gave me an emergency button and a camera to set up that would monitor what was happening. With the company, all sessions are recorded. Probably so no one gets cuddled to death. I wanted to get yeah. on my knees and thank every god out there because there was no way I was going to march in there without some protection that's not really protection though like it is but it isn't because it could still pop off and <laughs> it's not not like you got a gun or something my first customer was a boomer named john y'all want to rock the hottest merch in the game well go over to samedaniel.com slash shop man where you can get all the new merch that i drop i got hoodies t-shirts pillows phone cases coming lanyards all kind of stuff man so go over to samedaniel.com slash shop get the hottest merch man i got it on right now because it's just so fly also if you want my uncensored simbi videos you want access to all my content before it hits youtube and some content that never hits youtube that's strictly exclusive you gotta go over to the patreon account man it's only 2.99 a month that's 10 cents a day that's damn near free and i got a discord now man shout out to my homie freedom he set up a discord for me so we can go over there we can post memes we can post girls we can post all kind of stuff let's get back into the video John was in his 60s, looked like a bag of hamburgers, and had these sad, sad eyes. Just threw my man John under the bus real heavy. 
<laughs> but there was also something a little scary about him. You know when you see a mugshot and you say to yourself, well, obviously they're a murderer. This is what I'm saying. You, I don't even have nothing to say. Look at that crazy person. That was John. Only he hadn't had that mugshot yet. I was so nervous. I was about two seconds from projectile vomiting all over John. But I lay down next to him and he held me in his arms. It was like the worst first date ever. He made weird little moans and pulled me closer to his chest. I was gritting my teeth trying not to throw up on his dirty floor. But that's when his cuddles started choking me. Why was he <laughs> hugging me that tight? Luckily for me, I was saved by the bell. I've never jumped out of bed so fast in my life. I gathered my envelope of money and rushed out without counting it. But holy, cr when I counted it, my jaw hit the floor. From an hour of laying with a weirdo, I landed 400 bucks. That's four zero zero. That was a third of my rent. I started trying to get as many clients as possible. I was cuddling day and night. Divorced dads, creepy old men, even some sad cases like people who had just lost a partner. There were deep conversations. There was crying. There there was laughing. There were... You know, it's crazy. I heard it was a booming business, so she ain't capping. She being for real. I heard it was a legitimate business. It sounds crazy, but it's legit, I guess. You know, old guys creeping on me. But in all that, there was money. So much money. Honestly, this type of mindset is not very far off from just being a I probably can't say that word because it's YouTube. From being a, well, let's just say she belongs to the streets. Put it that way. I could swim in it. I could blow my nose on it. The downside, I mean, minus the ding -a The company I work for took a 30% cut on what I made. She said minus the ding -a So what are you... ding -a The company I work for took a 30% cut on what I made. Maybe I was getting a little greedy, but I decided to quit the company and work on my own. Yeah. I could charge even more and I wouldn't have to pay a fee. All I'm saying saying is you better have a strap with you that's all i'm saying at all times but in new york you couldn't so good luck lady that meant more money to swim in more money to blow my nose on it even meant i'd be able to move to the nice side of town i went on a few cuddle sessions with old clients and everything was fine i didn't feel like anyone was gonna hurt me or be weird and i strolled out of there balling then came john you know my first client john i walked in to start our session he pulled me in his arms immediately super tight. I figured he's a weird dude. Maybe he's just having a bad day. Then he said, where's the camera? Yeah, red flags were instantly flying all over that room. Flags that said, get out of the room, you idiot. There's a literal psycho holding you. I laughed and told him we just use our phone for voice monitoring now. Why would you tell that fool that? You gotta say, hey, it's a GoPro up there or something. You said, oh, we don't have cameras no more. Are you crazy? Worst lie ever. You know how I mentioned I was an actress before? Yeah. Well, that was the moment I realized why I hadn't landed any gigs. I was garbage. My voice was shaking like the San Andreas quake was rocking it. John pulled me so tight, I felt like my lungs were going to pop out through my mouth. That's when he started talking. Why'd you leave me, Jessica? You have some nerve leaving me, Jessica, he mumbled. What the actual F did he mean? I, I didn't say anything because, well, I I was freaking the hell out. Why won't you answer me, Jessica? He yelled. He started squeezing me so tight, I couldn't have answered him even if I wanted to. I started to plan my escape. My brain was running a million miles an hour. Like, should I punch him in the nose? Wait, no, that's for sharks. Should I freeze? No, that's for bears. Should I just punch him in the ball? Will that do anything? John got up and threw a book against the wall. That's when I really started tweaking out. You should have just got up and ran, girl. What are you doing? He screamed at me to stay where I was, and he walked back towards the the door to get some. Like hell I was gonna stay where I was. I sprinted to the bathroom door and slammed it shut behind me. I could climb out the window. Everything would be fine. Holy c there was no window. I was about to say why would you run in the bathroom? The bathroom is the only spot that usually doesn't have a window. So why? <laughs> some people just do dumb things bruh. You know what I'm saying? They just be doing dumb stuff sometimes. I couldn't believe my eyes. Who doesn't have a window in their bathroom? 
bathroom. Who does? What? But ba- I have. Well, I've been in a couple houses with bathroom windows, but that's not a safe bet. What kind of sick joke from the universe was this? Was I really going to be murdered by a guy I was getting paid to cuddle? What kind of obituary was that going to be? And and was that better or worse than being a failed actress? John started banging on the door. I looked around for a weapon, but what was I going to do? Fight him with a dull razor? He started screaming at me for moving, asking why I dared to move. I wanted to yell... Um, maybe because you're a psycho? I took a deep breath. I had to make him think I was on board with this. I opened the door to see him standing there with a little outfit. It's your favorite, Jessica, he said. I swear to God, if we were in a movie, he would be twirling his mustache and petting a white cat. He ordered me to change into the dress. I did as quickly as I could. Whoever Jessica was, she had the same bad taste in clothes because this dress was straight out of 2007. John started going on and on about how I shouldn't have dared leave him. He asked me if I could still sing our song like I used to. What kind of relationship did these weirdos have? I didn't have anything to say. John grabbed me. I mean, like right now, before she grabbed her, she could have just ran for the dough. And asked why I wasn't answering. I couldn't do this anymore. I was terrified. I was tired of getting called Jessica. I was tired of having weirdos hands on me. I kicked John in the crotch. He fell to his knees and screamed after me as I ran to the door. I sprinted onto the street, tears in my eyes, makeup all over the place, Britney Spears meltdown dress flailing in the wind. When I got to my apartment, I felt like my life was crumbling in front of me, and it surely wouldn't be cuddling. I told the old company to take John off their list of clients because he was dangerous, and they offered me a job, but I realized I couldn't do it anymore. Sure, I met some actual nice people. I got to do some real good for widows and lonely people, but I was emotionally exhausted. I was only going to do safe jobs. I started going to auditions again. I mean, there I knew I wasn't going to get killed. My confidence, on the other hand, was probably going to be slaughtered. (laughs) To my surprise, I actually landed one of the first jobs I auditioned for. Mm. (laughs) I was giddy. Maybe all those horrible experiences had been a stepping stone to this. I showed up for the first day on set. Everyone warned me the director was going to be a creep, but I just rolled my eyes. They did didn't know creepy like I did. The director walked out on set. You know that moment where you look for the hidden camera in your life? Yo, it better not be John, bruh. It better not be John. Where you literally feel your soul leaving your body out of the sheer irony? Yeah, well, the director was John. God, no. Jessica screaming, a guy creeping, almost murdering John. We made eye contact and I saw the shame wash over his face. You know what your girl did? I told him that I had every video of us cuddling tape and ready to be sent to his kids and wife. Surely I was bluffing. I didn't even know if he had a wife and kids, but it worked. He backed off and begged me not to tell anyone. That's crazy. That was a bold move to say he had a wife and kids. Clearly, you didn't know that, but yeah, that's crazy, man. But yeah, that's a real profession. So I wouldn't do it, but hey, it is what it is. I love y'all. Peace.